uh, on this very important uh, day. Today we are launching the Reconciliation Month, which is the month of December. Uh, and exactly seven years ago, uh, this month, uh, on the 5th of December, it means uh, three days from now, uh, we will be commemorating the passing on of uh, Madiba, President, the late President Nelson Mandela. Um, it's, a, it's a coincidence that uh, Madiba passed on in December, the month of reconciliation, what he championed throughout his leadership or of presidency in this country. And here we are, uh, this year's theme is calling on all South Africans to unite against racism, against gender-based violence, femicide, and other intolerances. Uh, it is important that uh, we observe that we ensure that what Madiba planted in us, we leave it. The reconciliation month and reconciliation is not just causing up together, having a, a, a good feeling amongst ourselves. It's about confronting real challenges facing our people that unfortunately, 26 years into democracy, we still have some amongst us who practice racism against their fellow South Africans. And we should not tolerate that. We should always highlight that. Uh, we should make sure that we do everything to isolate people who are, you know, discriminating against uh, other people uh, in this country. We are also uh, focusing on gender-based violence and femicide. And we are saying that uh, this is one of the most pernicious uh, thing which is happening amongst people. That men, as we are here today, even if you look at the olden days, our culture as African people has never condoned the abuse and killing of women. In fact, we've always protected women. We've always ensured that even when there were wars, women are protected. And uh, women are loved. We must spread love amongst women, not hate, not abuse them. Because they are not abusing themselves. Men, it's our time, we must talk. Women have been talking and they've been crying, they've marched, they've done everything, but they are not abusing themselves and they are not killing themselves. We are doing that as men. So we must be men enough, confront our issues. We have our leaders today, like Patrick Shai, uh, who will talk to us later on, sharing their experiences and uh, counseling us on what is it that we need to do as men. And when I say men, I mean that from a boy child, we need to ensure that we change this narrative, we change this paradigm. We have men, young men, we have boys who know that they have a responsibility to love and protect their sisters, their fellow uh, women uh, in the country, so that as a nation we are able to move forward. We are worse than beasts today as South African men. Everybody is talking about us and is asking what kind of men are these who are not spreading love amongst their women. Women are abducted, women die. Some of them are not discovered. Nobody knows where they are today. And it's not women who are abducting them, it's us men. Okay, we're starting our uh, big walk, our 5K walk. Um, one of the slogans is here, I pledge to teach and show my son how to take care, love and protect his mother and sisters. Um, so as we launch the Reconciliation Month, uh, 
we're going to talk about racism, we're going to talk about gender-based violence, and we're also going to have hard discussions with our children, our kids, to ensure that they also play their rightful role. So this march through my constituency uh, in uh, Athlone with the minister is to highlight that, to launch reconciliation, to talk about uh, our diversity, celebrating our diversity, but we must also talk about white privilege, we must talk about Baskap, we must talk about the ills of our, of, our, of our city and our province, and we must also look at how do we reconcile, because you can't just think reconciliation in Kumbaya if we don't deal with the issues of redress and transformation. So I'm here, I'm joining uh, Minister Nati Tetwa um, on a big walk across uh, Cape Flats, uh, mainly Athlone. We're walking now in the in the Q town, and then we're going to stop at uh, Anton France, the place where Anton France was uh, killed by the apartheid police, and uh, and then we're coming back. So it's literally a freedom walk to to remember our past, to reconcile uh, our fears, our futures, and bring our people together. Can I see your poster, please? Why are you marching, ma'am? I'm marching for Bontiable. You're marching for Bontiable? Yes, I'm Great principal stuff. at the school in Bontiable. Yes. And I see how our boys are thinking that the guys on the streets are their role models. Yeah. And they're not treating our women and our girls in the correct manner. Thank you for, thank you for marching that, with I us. I see that on the playground. Yeah. yeah, that's why your poster says protect women and children Absolutely. against. Thank you for coming and we're doing this for our girls. Thank you. Thank you so much, Principal. Thank you. I see a photo of uh, Hisham in memory of Advocate Shah Muhammad. He will be remembered for his humanitarian contribution for this. We are forever grateful and we will actively strive to emulate his principal values, his strong work ethic and his unwavering commitment to the upliftment of our people. Salim, how are you doing? Uh, I, I see you also marching in the streets of uh, Q-Town. Why are you here? To preserve the legacy that my brother Shah Elizabeth Shah Muhammad fought for, uh, for a society free of gender based violence and femicide. I'm wearing a cap from one of his operations, Operation Sonso. Uh, it was a maintenance uh, operation to find those perpetrators that do not pay maintenance to the most vulnerable in society, our women and children. And uh, it was a very successful campaign. Yeah, there's a lot of men that's still not paying maintenance out there. I, I know that a lot of men don't take responsibility. And now we are asking the courts to help us take, get that men to take responsibility. What's the procedures if women want to get maintenance? Can you share that? Or? Yes, there is a, a, a distinct procedure that has been brought about by the Operation Isonda campaign. Uh -huh. there, there is actually officers in uh -huh. our courts that is able to assist women and, and um, uh, making application for a further investigation. The Department of Justice then partners with the police services um, where they have these lists of defaulting uh, perpetrators who in the middle of the night and have been on one of those operations. Uh -huh. Very operations where we go out in the townships and find those men that are not uh, willing to, to ensure that they have their responsibilities uh, up out. So there you hear it, uh, men. Let's take responsibility for our children and families. Don't let government force you to pay maintenance. Maintenance is not a privilege, it's your responsibility to help our children. Um, for those that just joined now, we're in a march with uh, Minister Natiam Tetwa, myself as the Member of Parliament for the Greater Athlone. We're launching the National Reconciliation Month um, here in Athlone. We talk, 
Harus berada. Thank you, Buddha. So uh, we we getting a good reception from this area. Traditionally, being marginalized, neglected, um, crime and gang area. Uh, today, we bring the message of hope. We bring the message of of uh, unity in our diversity. But we're also going to have hard discussions about um, how race and gender-based violence plays itself out in the city of Cape Town uh, and in, also in this province. We can't do reconciliation if we can't seek justice and redress and transformation. So those are key messages that we bring out today. Uh, the pace is quite quite hard, so I can't talk. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, Some kids. We're going at a good pace. Uh, there's the march in front. We're actually in the middle of the march. Making you also walk. <laughs> so you guys also get an exercise uh, from the from the fourth estate. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About a year ago, I came to these flats. Um, a 17-year-old matriculant was shot um, on his way to to write exams. So. Uh, gender-based violence <laughs> greetings hi. hi how are you doing Good, can i maybe interview you yes okay so my name is uh, faiz jacobs the member of parliament for this athlone area okay um ma'am just introduce yourself and why are you marching today oh my name is dohozo kompambani i work for a company called sara yeah south african heritage resources agency under the Department of Agriculture, yeah. Department of Agriculture, we join the march because we we are for the cause of the march. Yeah. We are condemning the gender-based violence that everyone else is doing. So yeah. We decided to come and join the march because we support all the causes. Yeah. No. Thank you for for coming and. Uh, the Heritage uh, Agency plays a very important role in remembering the past yes. so that we can get this reconciliation for the future. Oh, oh. Uh, so this month is, the Minister is launching the Reconciliation Month. Yes. Um, and it's important for us to reconcile as South Africans. Yeah. But we must never forget our heritage and where we come from yes. and our painful past. Yeah. And heritage plays a, a big role when it comes to reconciliation. Yeah. So it informs us about our past, our pleasure, mm. and therefore the future. Yeah. Thank you, sir. No, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so we're just walking past uh, the famous Athlone Stadium. Um, it's also a site of current struggle. A lot of the sports... Uh, um, Fraternities like SAFA, um, they are struggling to ensure tenancy uh, and security of tenure in the... In